Hey everyone, Christian here, and this is more of a uh, kind of secondary palm review with a much larger specimen of Tina spectabilis. Um, so this palm is a monotypic genus that was discovered about uh, 10 to 12 years ago in uh, Madagascar, a, I believe a, a French, French expatriate uh, found this, or his daughter found it growing outside of a farm that they had there in Madagascar. and. Uh, it, it wasn't a Barassus, it wasn't a Carifa, which people thought it was, because it does have that similarity to it. If you see the, the leaf, it kind of has a similar leaf style. Very, very large, slightly costa palmate leaf with some uh, segmentations that are kind of every single, every three or so it, it divides there. So um, seed, seed came out of this plant for, for cultivation around 2008, and I bought 100 seed back then, and this is one of the palms from that. Um, my friend has, my friend Ken has planted these in the ground and is field growing them for when people want to buy them. And uh, these are, this is among the largest of the, of tahinas that are actually in the, uh, <clears throat> sorry, in cultivation today. So the ones in habitat obviously are much larger, but uh, when this palm uh, flowers, it dies. So it's monocarpic, meaning one fruiting. And uh, you know, it's unfortunate that this palm eventually has to die by fruiting, but um, you know, the more that do end up going into fruit, the more that, that end up coming into cultivation. So I guess you could look at it in that manner. So you can see that it does kind of grow in a diceous pattern at the base. So it grows side to side like this. And then when it gets a little bit larger, it kind of fills in this circle by growing perpendicular to its original, um, its original growth. And people would say, oh, that looks just like a Bismarck or that looks just like a Carifa. And it kind of does, however, it is not related, it's not closely related to either one. It's actually more closely related to this palm right here, Cariodoxa elegans, and a couple other ones, uh, there's Chunio phoenix. But if you look at the, the leaflets, you can see the splitting here. See the three, three, and three, three, sorry, they're flapping around there. You can see just things like, small things like that, the seed size, the seeds look almost identical um, in, in shape and size. And uh, just the overall leaflet pattern, a little bit, these leaves are not quite as thick and waxy as a Bismarck, but they still have, you know, they, they still can hold up to full sun. They do really well here in South Florida in the alkaline soils. You can see the new spear right there. That, that's looking amazing. And this thing hasn't even formed a trunk yet. So you can just imagine, I mean, I'm reaching my hand up as high as I can and, you know, I'm not even touching the leaf. It's probably, I don't know, eight to 10 feet wide and only gonna get larger. That's probably close to a mature size leaf, but it's going to pro yeah, probably get a little bit bigger. So you can see some of the older, it, it, keep, it holds a lot of its old leaflets. This, this one's probably from a couple years ago. And it's obviously dead, but this one maybe from last year or so. They seem to go well through her, sorry. The cats are always, you never know when they're going to come and, and rub up against you or bite your legs. So uh, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, uh, you know, Again, holds all of its older leaves. You know, these have just been trimmed off for, you know, for looking better. But in habitat, they look, they actually look a little bit ratty because they aren't, they aren't trimmed up. I wouldn't say ratty. They just look like they, you know, unclean, I guess is the best way to put it. But it does hold a lot of this whitish uh, color at the base of the petioles when it's, when the, on the newer uh, bases. And then you can see it kind of fades out to a regular kind of forest green, British racing green, I like to call it. And uh, they do like, they seem to like a lot of water and really good drainage and alkaline soil. So the seeds of these palms, um, God, it's been a while since I've seen them, but the, uh, they kind of have, they look kind of like a, uh, I guess you could say a small brain about the size, about a uh, quarter of an inch in width, maybe a little bit bigger. And uh, if you do happen to be lucky enough to get some seed, uh, you can treat them a lot like you do many remote germinating species, almost like a Bismarck, give it a good amount of water, a deep uh, rooting pot, and uh, you know these actually germinate relatively easy if they're fresh. If they're not fresh, then they they won't germinate. But uh, they they aren't like a tough palm to grow. They just happen to be pretty new to cultivation, and uh, you know having just been found in the wild. So the best knowledge given by local tribes in the area say that in their generation they never have seen one of these actually fruit and die until uh, around 2007, 2006, when the first uh, one died and seed was made available and, and fruited and died and was made available to collectors so thankfully through the use of the internet uh, and google maps i believe helped kind of discover this plant and i think that's kind of awesome 
and also through a lot of technology, we were able to det determine it was closely related to this palm here from Thailand and other parts of Southeast Asia. And uh, so you can kind of deduct, okay, this palm, you know, may have they, what characteristics do they, sh do they share? And you can, you know, besides the seed size, which is almost identical, uh, the leaflet segmentation and uh, other uh, cool characteristics. So, um, but yeah, I've already made a vlog about this one, a smaller one, but I wanted to show you guys what a larger one, one of the largest ones in cultivation looks like. Uh, there are some larger ones, but just these are, these are about as big as they get, maybe a few feet tall or maybe a, you know, six to eight inches wider at the base. And, um, yeah. So that's about it for uh, Tahina Spectabilis and uh, comparisons and the kind of a secondary vlog there. But uh, if you enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions about Tahina or any of its relatives, leave it down below and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. And I hope you guys have a good day.